requirement in the Navy, but for many recruits it can be a struggle. If you're going to be a sailor, you're going to need to survive and fight in the water. On one one day of training, recruits come here to do their initial swim, and that consists of first they step from the tower, the tower is 9 feet 10 inches high, into water that is 12 feet deep. Then they are required to swim 50 yards using one of the four swim strokes. After they complete their swim, then they will be required to do a five minute prone float. Upon completion of that, they don coveralls and they inflate them in order to float in the water. Then they go and do an abandoned ship scenario, which involves teamwork and entering a life raft. The best thing that you can do for yourself to help yourself out is to get in the water and get comfortable there. We do give lessons here, but it's gonna be a lot easier for you as if you don't know how to swim, to catch on and learn faster if you're comfortable in the water. Get out! There's a lot of panic that goes into shoot, but uh, at the end it's over. Stop! You just have to believe in yourself, so you know that you can do it. And if you can't, these are some of the best trained instructors that you can find. It's the safest water. You're never more than two or three feet from an instructor who if you are struggling and you can't make it, they're going to pull you out. Your safety is our number one concern here. Out. Just go for it. Once you take that first step, it gets a lot easier after that. Remember, comfort in the water is an essential part of passing recruit training. So if you can't swim now, you might want to work on it before you head to boot camp. Get in, get wet, and get ready. 